Hi, Shintar Higashi, my cousin Eugene. I'm gonna show you Ochigari. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit different than a classic Ochigari because it's gonna be from a cross grip position, right? Usually you're gonna go for the lapel hand. Boom, I take, break, go across, I go behind in two on one, okay? Notice I took this huge wide step, so now I'm closer to this leg, okay? I wanna create an angle because if I'm directly in front, that leg is way too far for me to go Ochi. So as I go across the back here, I take a side step, and now I'm, I'm angled off in a T position, okay? So from this position, when I go Ochi, I'm gonna bring his hand to his hip, I'm gonna bring my head through him, I'm gonna go to my knee, foot to foot, connect, and then take my opponent down with Ochi. Okay, the footwork's kind of unique. Uh, you go here, you drop to your knee, and I get a lot of questions. When do you drop to your knee, and when do you bring your head to this side of the body, okay? Because classically, Ochi, if you just stand neutral in front of me, right? Ochi go on this side, and you reap the leg here, okay? And a lot of people will tell you, because you're reaping this leg here, you want to bring your head to the same side to bring his weight over the leg that you just reaped, right? But a lot of the times, I find that when you bring your head to the same side of the leg, and when you're going to reap, there's not a lot of recourse if he, can't, if he steps out here. Okay, because I'm totally committed in going into this diagonal. As opposed to, if I'm keeping my head to this side of the body, Ochi, I could hop through, finish, transition Ochi, I could pivot and go for a turn throw. I have a lot more recourse if my first initial Ochi Gary fails. Okay, if I'm full blown committed to this Ochi here, there's not too much to be able to do after that. Right? I could go Ochi Osoto, Ochi turn throw. Right? Lots of different options for me when I stick that leg in Ochi. Okay, so I don't always want to commit my head to this side of the body, and nor do I always want to drop to the knee because then there's no follow-up from there. Right? If I'm just in this classic Ochi position here, there's lots of different things that I can potentially do from here. Right? Okay, turn, Ochi Osoto, move, two-step, right? All my combinations are going to open up.